Well, we have got a hunk of a dog here. His name is Bear. <laughs> this morning's rescue in action. Richard with Second Chance Friends is here. And Richard, I know that Bear had a few medical issues, which is why his owner had to surrender him. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Right, he's had a couple of uh, bladder stones and similar bladder issues, which are kind of prevalent with English Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. uh, but the surgery went well with that. So, um, yep, so he's he's recovered from that. Um, as a result, he will be on a, on a prescription diet mm -hmm. that helps, you know, manage the, um, the bladder stones and any bladder issues. But other than that, tip top. Hey, that's that's okay. Some of us have to be on prescription diets, right? <laughs> well, I know you describe Bear as like a Mack truck, and I'm assuming that's why he would maybe be best in a house that doesn't have small children. Right, yeah. He's super friendly with uh, with dogs and people, but he is a, uh, a very <laughs> solid uh, guy, so yeah. he, he would definitely run the risk of, of knocking somebody over unintentionally. Well, and we <laughs> joked that you're about to go flying across the right. screen because Bear's going to take off with you. Um, so why is it so important to have someone who's experienced with bulldogs? Why do you think that's important? So especially with uh, with English Bulldogs or really any any dog in the Florida heat that has a, a short snout, just experience with how, how you, you need to manage them with the Florida heat and, and things right. like that. So that's the biggest worry with uh, with guys like this. Shorter walks. That's Shorter probably walks, a good yep. idea. Out, out, not out of the you know the, the heat of the midday, yes. you know, morning and, the, and nighttime walks. Yep. Well, thank you so much, Richard. And if you want to take Bear home, you can head to Second Chance Friends Shelter, and their website is on your screen.